Wyant stormed into the bar, her heels clicking loudly on the wooden floor. As she made a beeline for the nearest empty table, Her friend, Lisa, followed close behind, trying to keep up with her furious pace. Come on, Vyan, let's just sit down and talk about it. Lisa said, grabbing Wyan's arm gently. Wyan huffed and slumped into a chair, crossing her arms over her chest. Can't believe they have postponed our wedding. Who does that? Who decides to just postpone a wedding at the last minute? Lisa sat down across from her, offering a sympathetic smile. I know it's frustrating, but maybe he has a good reason. Did he say why? Van rolled her eyes. Oh, he had plenty of reasons. None of which made any sense to me. He said he needed more time to plan the perfect wedding. as if we haven't been planning this for months already. Lisa chuckled, men and their need for perfection. Well, let's not dwell on it tonight. Let's have some drinks and forget about all the wedding drama. Pian sighed and nodded, Lisa flagging down the bartender to order a round of shots. Lisa, you know I don't drink. Lisa looked at her board. I know, babe. I'll order a mocktail for you. Wyan smiled at her friend and waited for the drinks. As the drinks arrived, Lisa raised her glass to forget about men and their ridiculous excuses.
wine clinged her glass with Lisa's and took a sip without really looking at it. To her surprise, the drink tasted different from what she was used to. It had a sharp tang and a warmth that spread through her body. Leaving her feeling slightly lightheaded, confused, Wine glanced down at the glass in her hand. With every sip, her head started getting heavy. Vision getting blurry and surroundings seemed to get dizzy. She looked at Lisa who was enjoying her drink. Wan hit her old head twice slightly to ease the pain in her head. Soon after, Lisa, who had her high alcohol tolerance, noticed Wyan behaving weirdly. She frowned and called the waiter. May I help you, ma'am? What did you mix in your drink? She asked, holding his collar. Ma'am, calm down, please. I think the waiter served her cocktail instead of mocktail. We are really sorry for the inconveniences. You don't have to pay us for the drinks. It's on us. Shut up. Oh God, what should I do now? As Lisa was busy fighting with the waiter, she didn't notice Wine slip out of her chair and crawl away on her knees. Frantically scanning the crowd, Lisa pushed her way through the throngs of people. calling out Wyan's name in panic, but her friend was nowhere to be found.
Meanwhile, Vian had somehow managed to navigate her way towards Tae Hyung's house. She giggled as everything seemed like a hazy dream to her. She looked at the giant metal gate and narrowed her eyes getting an idea. She put her foot in between the metal gate bars. Sticking to it and swinging like a child. Come out, Mr. Kim the Taehyung. Look who's here to talk to you. She spoke in her drunken voice. You can't ignore the great YN. She got off of the gate and walked a little forward. Her eyes went towards the scribbles on her hand which she did on her way to Taehyung's house. Oh, look, I've even written notes on my hand. We need to talk. Come out. She ordered, looking at the things written on her hand. Soon, she frowned when she couldn't read what was written. Blinking twice, she mumbled, What have I written? I can't understand. My handwriting is so bad, she pouted. Just like you. Same to same, dicto, copy, same pinch. Wayne said angrily, but later giggled as she realized something. But you know how this is looking? It is looking like some aunt got drunk on ink and danced on my hand. She laughed but then suddenly went back to serious mood.
But I am not here to dance. I am here to talk. She waited for a moment but sighed when there was no response. So you won't come, huh? Spotting his familiar window. She grinned mischievously and decided to climb up. With surprisingly nimble movements for someone in her state. Vyan managed to hoist herself onto the window sill. She peered inside. Her eyes widening in surprise when she saw Taehyung sitting on his bed engrossed in a book. She slurred, tapping on the glass and later waving. Taehyung's head snapped up. His eyes widening in shock as he saw his drunk fiancé clinging to the window looking extremely excited. Wan, what are you doing here? he asked. Rushing over to open the window and help her inside. Wine giggled, stumbling into the room and flopping down on the bed. She pouted, wrapping her arms around Taehyung's neck and nuzzling into his chest. What? He whispered to himself, confused. I missed you too, but why did you climb up my window? Wait, wait, you drunk? He exclaimed, shocked. Wine giggled in response. You went to the bar? But you never drink, Wyan. What happened today?
he asked worried trying to hold her in one place Lisa mocktail yum she said smiling innocently They him face palmed himself letting out a oh god You're not happy to see me she asked getting sad It's not like that it's just I was not expecting you to be here like a drunken ninja He said trying to keep a straight face as Wayne looked up at him with big puppy dog eyes Because you postponed our wedding she whined poking his chest with her finger they him smile faltered slightly at the mention of their postponed wedding but he quickly regained his composure I know but we just need more time to plan everything properly He explained gently cupping her cheek in his hand Van pouted even more her bottom lip jutting out on in a cute pout But I want to be your wife now she whined her words slurring together They him couldn't resist her adorable drunk antics and pulled her into a tight hug pressing a kiss to her forehead I promise we'll get married soon okay but right now let's focus on getting you sobered up everyone is sleeping he said guiding her over to sit on the bed while looked up at the hum confused her head spinning from both the alcohol and the hyung's sweet words
Why is everyone sleeping? Wake them up. We'll party. She yelled, standing up on the bed and jumping. Tehin quickly went up to her. Picking her up like a child and making her sit on the bed. Look, listen to me. I'm going to bring you a glass of water. Sit here quietly. If you make noise, everyone will get up and it will create a problem. Yeah? She said, blushing, making Tehim speechless. Yeah, have some shame, he said, hiding his red cheeks. Now, put a finger on your lips, she did as Tehyung told her. Good girl, don't create a scene. Everyone's sleeping, okay? Okay, she said loudly. Shh, I'll be right back, he told her, receiving a note from the drunken ninja. As Tehung went to grab a glass of water for Vyan, she suddenly jumped up from the bed and started dancing around the room, her arms flaying wildly in the air. She turned and flinched as she got scared looking at her own self in the mirror. Who are you? What are you doing in my husband's room? Wan glared at her reflection, but as she realized the reflection did the same actions as her, she giggled seeing it copying her dance moves. Taehyung was stood at the door, couldn't help but laugh at her drunken dance moves. His heart swelling with love for the silly woman who had stolen his art.
Juan, be careful. You're going to hurt yourself, he warned. Trying to catch her as she twirled dangerously close to the edge of the bed. Wyan just giggled and spun around even faster, nearly crashing into a lamp in her drunken stupor. Oopsie, she giggled, collapsing onto the bed in a fit of laughter. Kim shook his hand fondly, unable to stay mad at her even for a second. After managing to get Ryan to drink some water and eat a few crackers to help sober her up, Taehyung tugged her into bed and sat by her side watching over her as she drifted off to sleep. He brushed a strand of hair away from her face, his heart overflowing with love for this woman who had managed to climb up his window in a drunken haze just to see him. There was no doubt in his mind that she was the only girl he wanted to marry. As Wine snuggled closer to him in her sleep, Taehyung pressed a gentle kiss to her forehead and whispered softly, And with that, he settled down beside her. Content in the knowledge that no matter what obstacles they faced, they would always have each other. Lisa sagged in relief after reading the text she got from Taehyung that Ryan is with him and he will drop her at her house tomorrow.